this video, we'll look at how to use the Synth Editor window in Groove Machine. The Synth Editor window actually controls several things, including the Synth Editor, the Drum Sample Editor, and the MIDI EQ Editor. You can toggle between these functions using this button, but note that this button tells you what you're switching to, not what's currently displayed. Once you're in Synth mode, the display will automatically change between Drum Editor and Synth Editor, depending on what part you select below. Let's select Synth Part 2. Remember, when Groove Machine is stopped, you can click on the buttons at the bottom to hear the part that's in focus. Notice that Synth Part 2 is the bass sound in this groove. Back in the Synth Editor, we can see that this sound uses all three layers because there's a wave shape loaded into each of the three slots. You can also see that their pitches have all been shifted lower by 12 or 24 half steps to give it that bassy growl. To adjust the pitch, just click and hold on the value, then drag your mouse up and down. The Mix column lets you balance the levels of all three layers. The Oscillator 2 control blends Oscillators 1 and 2 against each other. The Oscillator 3 knob balances Oscillator 3 against the other two. The Noise control lets you bring in white noise underneath the whole sound for more edge. To hear all these controls in real time, let's solo the synth part and start playback. Cool. The phase selection lets you fatten your sound by sliding Oscillator 2's phase around and by using the unisono mode to generate multiple detuned voices, kind of like a chorus effect. Then over here, you can control how many voices Unisono generates and just how detuned or fat they are, like this. The keyboard column lets you pick out which octave your sound lives in. If I set this up two octaves and start playback, our bass sound takes on a whole new character. The modulation section allows you to use one oscillator to control the sound of another oscillator, then use the amount slider to set how dramatic the effect is. In one sync mode, oscillator 1 is modulated by itself using the amount slider. In FM and RM modes, oscillators 1 and 2 are linked to control frequency modulation or ring modulation, like this. Finally, let's switch over to synth part 1, the bell sound. You can see it's made up of a single layer. It's just a simple sine wave. But this is a great part to demonstrate how to change sounds. You can select new waveforms a couple of different ways. You can click on the name to call up a menu. Or you can use the arrow keys at the end of the line to scroll through the sounds. This is handy if you want to hear them in context, like this. Finally, if I want to change this synth part to an entirely new preset, I can use the bank and program menus. And just like the waveform selector, I can use the arrows at the end of the program line to scroll through sounds while the groove is playing to get a feel for it in the mix. For more great software, check out the ImageLine website, and for more great tutorials, check out StreamWorksAudio.com.